Hello and welcome to the Titus Time Out podcast. I'm Jenny Abney Civi, and today's topic is oversizing VAV boxes. We often see that people want to go up in size in their VAV boxes to reduce the sound level of the box, but there are some downsides to doing this. So let's draw a single duct box. And this is the damper in the inlet. In the podcast on VAV box sizing, I said that you don't want to exceed 2300 feet per minute in the inlet. Ideally, you'd be closer to 2000 feet per minute. If you go higher than this, sound will probably become an issue. At 2000 feet per minute, you can use the full damper range. So at maximum CFM at say one inch, the damper motion would be this full 90 degree range. But what happens when you go to a larger size box is that the damper will close down some. This means that you lose the full range of motion of the damper. You may only be operating at 45 degrees or less as it goes from open to close. If you go too big, the whole airflow range should be covered by just a very small range of motion. So let me make a little room here. So oversizing can also mean that the velocity at minimum CFM may be too low. So let's draw the inlet of the box. You have a flow sensor here and it's piped to a controller. And on that controller you have a pressure transducer that is taking the pressure signal from your flow sensor. Most pressure transducers need about 0.03 inches of differential pressure from the flow sensor to control a box accurately. So in this case where your damper is oversized, your minimum velocity may result in a pressure reading from the flow sensor that is less than 0.03 inches. And then that means that your box will not be able to control as accurately at low flow. Another problem you can have with oversizing VAV boxes is when you have electric heaters. Let's draw in a single duct box with electric reheat. Put the coil down here. Now let's draw in the damper, and the damper is kind of at a minimum position because it's looking for the heating CFM. In a box with electric heat, you have to have enough airflow to close an airflow switch so that the heater will energize. So if you oversize the box and you can't get enough airflow to make the airflow switch, the heater won't energize. So now let's look at what could happen when you oversize a fan box. So let's draw a fan box from the side. It's a series box, so we'll put the fan on the discharge, and then you have the inlet in the damper here. Oversizing doesn't always reduce the sound of a fan box. If you go to a larger size, the damper closes down a little bit, and it can drive air down into the casing and actually increase the radiated sound of the box. Oversizing a fan box also means that the fan will be running at a lower RPM. PSC motors and fan boxes need to operate at least 650 RPM to keep the bearings lubricated. So if you run the fan box at a very low speed, you could get to a point where you're below 650 RPM and damage the motor. So these are some things that can happen when you oversize a VAV box. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, and thanks for taking the time out with us.